Hi, my name is Steph. If you'd like to come on and have a seat for someone's spirit message today, as I have a few souls here waiting for a message or a story to share in the afterlife aura. So we're going to utilize the scrolls, add on Terran Oracle, and where Mr. Ghost Gif is here kicking, uh, we have Ghost Tube for any audio additions that may further inspire or irritate. Overall, please do receive a release freely. I'm so glad you're here, and I'm grateful for your attention and awareness. You are my haunted heart. Okay, I'm going to dive right in here. As I've already opened a few times, and essentially this is uh, who's coming through. So I'm going to use the term Chris, whether it is a Christina, Christopher, Christine. Uh, it's a father figure coming through. You're married, uh, if this message is for you. And he recently passed. He might have been at the sink by a heart attack or aneurysm or something along that lines. Okay. So I'm going to dig in here a little bit further. Uh, I'm going to take a moment to open up. You're welcome to join me or you can fast forward through. Closing the eyes, cleansing the palate of perception, releasing the race and the rush. Activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support. In the name and honor of the afterlife aura and anyone at any time that is here. May you meet a message with meaning that warms a haunted heart. Thank you. Gratitude. Okay. Let's get out of here. So yes. uh, with dad here. Daddy Saturn. It's always my kind of feeling, when, it, especially when it comes through there. So Chris, Christina, Christopher, Christine. Your father made safe travels feel like he, he left you money or he left you something that is available for financial security to help you uh, move through grief and get on your feet again. I don't know if you visited him a lot, lived near him. Something uh, There's someone or something acknowledging your your visits or the time time spent. I feel as though he passed alone. So whether this is a lack of visits or lack of time spent, there seems to be no qualms about energy. that. There's a lot of respect happening when I step into his energy and feel your energy. I just want, I wanted you to have a good life, something about a good life. You do what you need to do. He could have passed in the summer of last year, summer, fall. He's uh, something about your marriage. I don't know if he watches over it or if maybe there was originally he wasn't pleased with with um, your partner choice or something along that lines. I'm not trying to be, you know what I mean? It's just how it's feeling because I'm not sure or he's like super pleased and I'm. Show yourself. Hmm. Which way? Which way? Which way, dad? Okay, so he's embracing both of you. Regardless of what was before, he's embracing both of you now very, very protectively. Are you guys considering growing your family? Are you considering having children? Or is this, uh, I feel like you've been very career oriented. And you're considering now having child or something along that lines. Sorry, we're adding on here and I'm just trying to listen and see what else I see. He was a, uh, okay, yeah. So your partner, male or female, indifferent, the love is loyal and he's very, very happy about that. I, I don't know if this is just something that you want to know or you got married. Cancer. And he wasn't able to be there for the wedding. He absolutely saw it. You might have even had like a nighttime wedding or something happened in the evening that let you know he was there. He, I feel like he was a very uh, tough. He raised you to be very, very tough. Open it. Yeah, see there. It's all there. He might have even passed around when you got married or there was some sort of commitment ceremony. He's apologizing for that. He's apologizing for... For not for, okay sorry something about uh, his belongings having to go through his belongings mm. 
there's some, I, I don't know what it is, but it's almost like there is an indecision of how to, to go about, about the belongings Yeah, something I feel hung up on something like what what do I do? What do I do about these things? What's the placement of them? Thank you. I just got to flip that for a moment. Because it's almost like there might be something. Okay. Okay. So I feel like uh your mother is already passed. He's, he's, he's gone to, like, he safely traveled to meet, to meet your mother, his wife. He wanted, to, it was really important to him how he appeared to her. I feel like she has passed some time ago. And I feel like that's the thing. See, it's so, so, so chilly in here. It's almost as if by going through his things but they're also part of your family things there's all these memories like sentimental memories that if he was strict in some way shape or form i don't maybe you're learning how sentimental he really was he's apologizing if he, if he ever hurt your head and what i mean by that is like if he ever gave you the idea that you weren't loved Because I'm seeing your energy, if you're here, somebody who's holding space for, if you're resonating with the story, it's like we? being uh, like Laura Croft or something. But again, this doesn't, I don't want to imply this is a female expression only. Again, it could be a Chris, Christine, Christina, Christoph. Man, you're skilled though. There's some sort of skill. But I, he's apologizing if he hurt your head about anything. He was at your wedding. He was at your wedding. Huh. Uh, sorry, okay. So when he was at your wedding, he saw you and your partner shine. Shined. <sighs> he is so proud at how tall you've become in your own skin, in your own being. Even I feel like he might be a little shorter. But it's like when you surpassed in height and you just kept growing in so many ways, shapes, or forms, well beyond his capacity. Sad. And sometimes that made him feel separate from you, but he wanted you to soar. He wanted you to soar, and he's seeing that. He's asking for some sort of forgiveness. Excuse me, sorry. Yeah, he's asking for some sort of forgiveness. I can, it's, it feels like if I ever hurt your head about, it's like head and heart stuff. It's like he, maybe, and I'm not, I'm just trying to apply personality traits that I'm feeling Damn. or behaviors because it's almost like somebody's headstrong or you're both headstrong. But you're also heartstrong. He was also heartstrong, but there's a completely different way of showing it. It's almost as if by being so heartstrong, I used my my head about it. It came through. Sorry, I'm so chilly. I, I was so headstrong because that was a reflection of how strong my heart was for you. My love was for you. Keep going. Okay. Okay, so there's... Uh... Okay. Yep. Oh, that was a weird little... Yeah. Okay, so active love. There's quiet moments in contemplation that I feel that are happening. 
that you you connect to this aspect of dad your parents having parents guardian guardians tangible parents i feel like both of your parents are now past grandparents are also also gone so there's a certain chapter if i may Flame. that is coming to a conclusion and it's kind of an interesting feeling and when i say interesting i mean very vulnerable introspective but it's like oh now i'm if i'm being very honest i feel like now i'm on my own even though you're all grown up let's say whatever that means either yeah if i'm being very honest that's it's like i'm all grown up but i realize i have no no parents left or family Okay, so I want to kind of start to begin to close out this message because I feel like this dad has absolutely made it over. Please do what you will with the house, with the assets, with the money, with the things. I trust you and I love you and I'm going to start to cry. it doesn't really matter what you do with it please don't burden yourself with with those things with those thoughts because he just wants to leave you something that he could because you were always in his heart no matter how strict disciplinary in your way or burdensome in butting heads you were always in his heart and even if he could leave you a seed he knew that you could be you could grow it not him Energy. because you were really his champion he made his choices and now he's he is past i'm so sorry in his passing He's balancing that heart and head strong, super Why strength. are you here? I have somebody else lining up. I feel you. I feel you. We'll get there in a moment. But Christine, Chris, Chris, please know that this energy is much more playful now. Dad's energy is much more playful. <clears throat> Lighthearted. And is through the transformation has so much blessings towards you and this understand the destruction that he may have left maybe the way he was found or the way you found out Jessica. but he's going home to mom he's with mom she was the leader of the pack. And we're still your parents. You will always be. If you can see in there with the lion holding the child up. You will just always be that something to me. I I don't even know what the word is. You will always be my little girl, my little boy. You will always be my child that I want to protect and I will do that. And I will feel stronger having met mom on the other side to do that. And, and it's almost like they're parenting you, parenting with you, supporting you in a different way while you become partners, marriage commitments and parents. I hope this has served. I'm I'm going to leave it here because I'm a blubbering mess. I want to thank you. And until next time for holding space for spirit to share their story, to go through the emotions and the energy and the auras of the afterlife. Gratitude.